Hey guys, Darcy here. So I'm going to go over in a quick video here how to solve a problem with the new um, V12 plugins and Luna's version 112 that they're conflicting. Essentially, the Waves plugins visually are upside down, a lot of the parameters and such. It's annoying. Uh, and apparently, it's a bug within the Waves plugins themselves. They have to make some update. But there is a workaround, and it's in the, the change notes from um, from Luna, uh, from UAD, that you can basically revert to version 11. So I went to do that, and I found it a little bit complicated. Uh, it just wasn't straightforward. So I thought I'd do a video on it, okay? So let's jump into the computer. First off, I thought that I'd go to Waves here, and then I would find some button in the settings that would say, make everything V11. But there isn't. There's uninstalls but there isn't anything that says like revert plugins to a specific version. So what I did was, this is the, the, the steps I went through, okay? You go to your applications, go to the Waves uh, folder, double click here. So first look to see if you have plugins in the unused plugins V11 folder. Now I had a bunch of plugins here and I've already done my steps, so that's why you see nothing. If you don't have anything in here, I'm not sure exactly how to proceed. But if you do, then it should be all of the plugins that were, um, when you upgraded to V12, all of the old versions of V11 got moved into this folder so you can still use them. So what I would do is go back to Wave Central. Sorry, it's COVID in, there's people above me. Um, you would click V12 on the uninstall and uninstall them. So that will get rid of everything, all the folders and any configurations that are needed. Then I would go over to my V11 unused, drag all of the plugins into the V11 folder. Great. Then I tried loading up my DAW, and you can try it this stage too if you want, but it didn't seem to recognize them. So I came back to Wave Central and click Repair. So that would put everything back into place and probably let Wave's like licensing management know that these plugins exist. So when you load up your DAW, tells your DAW, hey, here's the plugins. So that worked, but there's one more step I had to do. It installed all of my demo plugins I didn't want um, into my V11 folder. So I came into my V11 folder here and um, basically found the ones, let's say there was like an L3 and I, did, wasn't, I didn't purchase it, just delete the files. You know, whatever the L3 dot bundle, just delete it. That got rid of it, so when I loaded my DAW, it didn't look for it. So that's really all there was to it for me. Hopefully you found this helpful. It's just, you know, something that wasn't super intuitive to me. So uh, in terms of like, you know, uh, right away, it took me a little bit to figure it out. And so thought that'd be helpful to somebody else who who be running through the same set of problems. Anyways, peace, y'all.